From a mummy covered in pure gold to a 4,300 foot long water tunnel, check out 10 mysterious discoveries in Egypt that shock scientists around the world. <laughs> Number 10. Dream Discovery In an ancient burial chamber, undisturbed for thousands of years, a professor from Cairo University has found a pink granite sarcophagus. The chamber is actually made of several levels, and the sarcophagus was over 75 feet deep in the ground. The sarcophagus belonged to a nobleman of high rank from the era of Ramses the Great. It is made out of pink granite, and it is a once-in-a-lifetime discovery because the mummy is in pristine condition with decorations, emblems, and hieroglyphs still visible. The person buried is none other than Tai Mwia, the head of treasury for King Ramses. Professor Ola L. Aguizi, who made the discovery, hopes that it will help in exploring the time period after the rule of the king to in common. Number 9. New Royal Tomb You would think that after hundreds of years of excavation, all of Egypt would have been explored by now. But not even close. An ancient royal tomb was found in Luxor, in between the famous Valley of the Queens and the Valley of the Kings, by a team of scientists from Great Britain and Egypt. It probably belongs to the wife or child of an Egyptian king, most likely from the 18th dynasty, somewhere between 1550 BC and 1292 BC. A huge part of the tomb is still not explored, and the work of archaeologists is extra slow and thorough there in order to not damage something because this particular site has been damaged by multiple floods. But it sure does leave you to wonder how advanced a civilization on the Nile River was thousands of years ago. Number 8. Gold-Covered Mummy Yes, you've heard that correctly, not a gold sarcophagus, but a mummy covered in pure gold. The coffin was not touched for at least 4,300 years. It is of a man named Pekeshapis, and this is among the few complete mummies of a non-royal. In fact, this could be the most complete and oldest mummy ever found. It was buried 50 feet deep in a shaft next to three other tombs of servants. This discovery shed some light on the people connected to the kings of Egypt and their relations. Upon opening the sarcophagus, archaeologists were shocked to see that the mummy was completely covered in gold leaves. It is most likely an honor bestowed by the king to a servant whom he liked and who had contributed a lot to the royal family. Number 7. Colored Portraits The Ptolemaic period is the time ruled by the pharaohs that came after Alexander the Great took over Egypt. It is a time when art in Egypt and the rituals were a little different due to outside influence. So it is not that weird to find mummies buried with portraits, right? Well, two mummies found at the Gerza excavation site had colored portraits of faces. Not everyone from the Ptolemaic period was buried with a portrait though. Only the wealthiest and most important people had that honor. It was a concept brought by the Greeks who lived there alongside the Egyptians and spread Hellenic art. So there was inscribed pottery in the tomb as well. Number 6. Ruins of an Ancient Temple for Zeus Everybody knows who Zeus is, the ruler of gods and men living on Mount Olympus. Well, apparently Egyptians knew of him as well. Remains of a temple dedicated to the god of gods were found in the area where a little ancient city on the Nile stood. It was built by the Greeks and the Roman Emperor Hadrian, who liked their culture and renovated it during his rule. The influence of the Greek and Roman culture on Egyptian gods and vice versa is unknown, but you cannot deny the resemblance and similarities between deities of each culture. Number 5. Vast Water Tunnel The biggest potential find in Egypt would be the long-lost tomb of Cleopatra, and research teams are deployed in every possible location that could be the site. One of the teams was digging near the Tapasiris Magna Temple, and they were shocked alright. Not because they found Cleopatra's tomb, but because they came upon a tunnel that was at least 4,300 feet long. It is miraculous how symmetric it is, and how it even survived after all these years, especially because earthquakes in this area destroyed the temple above it. What lies on the other side of the tunnel is still unknown. You can't exactly run through an ancient tunnel but it might actually lead to the tomb of Cleopatra. Number 4. The Golden City of Luxor A team of archaeologists has found the largest ancient Egyptian city ever discovered. The city is at least 3,000 years old. 
It was named the Rise of a Ten, and it was found under the sand on the western bank of Luxor. It is not completely explored yet, and it will take at least a couple more years to finish the job. This city dates back to the reign of King Amenhotep III, and it was the main administrative and industrial center back then. This might be the single most important discovery alongside the tomb of Tutankhamun. No wonder a lot of mummies, statues, pottery, and jewelry were found. There are even some buildings that were bakeries. Some experts even predict that this discovery might be more impactful than the city of Pompeii, but that remains to be seen. Apparently, this city started to fall off when Amenhotep's successor moved the capital. Number 3. 4,500 year old Sun Temple It is no secret that ancient cultures followed multiple gods and used a lot of their time and resources in their honor. Well, a temple dedicated to the sun god Ra, at least what's left of it, was found near Cairo. It is at least 4,500 years old, and it was built by the members of the Cult of the Sun. That cult reached its maximum potential at this time and was active until Ra merged with Amun to form Amun-Ra. This temple was buried under another temple that was built later, and when a part of it was found at the end of the 19th century, they believed that it was only a previous building stage of the same temple. The Cult of the Sun is not like modern cults, and the temple isn't any different from other temples. It was filled with pots, jewelry, mummies, etc. But we don't know anything about the rituals that were performed in the Sun Temples, and no artifact found can help us understand them. Number 2. Unknown Queen Pyramid Close to the famous tomb of King Tutankhamun, a team of archaeologists has found the ruins of another pyramid. This pyramid is the tomb of... Well, we don't know exactly, but the available artifacts suggest that it belonged to Queen Neith, a ruler not known to history until now. Under the pyramid, there are 22 connected shafts with over 300 expensively decorated coffins with male and female faces, and inside one was a mask of a woman's face made out of pure gold. Among the common artifacts of that era, a large number of what could only be board game parts were there, although scientists still don't know if it was one or multiple games or how it was played. The funny thing is that this massive discovery was made on the exact date of the 100th anniversary of finding the Tomb of King Tut. Number 1. Mummies from Cleopatra's Time We finally get to our thumbnail topic for the day, mummies that could potentially lead scientists to the Tomb of Cleopatra. The mummies are not in good shape, but thankfully there were 200 coins with Cleo's name that proved the time period. The picture is creepy, the mummies look like they could rise and attempt to take over the world at any time, but if they were the mummies of old ancient magical spirits, I think they would be in decorated coffins. But the real question is, what do you think about this picture? Do these mummies creep you out as well? Could they really lead to the tomb of Cleopatra, or is it a wild goose chase? Do you know of any shocking discoveries in Egypt that we might have overlooked? Let us know in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel with notifications on so that you don't miss any of our future uploads. Till next time!